The city of New Orleans says it has to make sure areas where homeless people gather and live are not also public health hazards. Moving New Orleans forward anchor LBJ shows you what is becoming the regular steps the city must take. Hey, Kurt. Uh, yeah, the city uh, is taking these steps on a continuous basis to be able to uh, make sure, as you said, that the public is safe. None of this is uh, something that everyone agrees with. Folks who live in the neighborhoods where homeless people moved uh, say that the city is not doing anything to move those people out of the neighborhoods. Meanwhile, the city's taking steps they need uh, in order to keep everyone safe. I just got that couch the other day and got it to where I could actually not be on the ground. And it's just nice to not to lay in a bed or on the ground and a couch I could sit on. And it was hell getting it here, but I got it here and I enjoyed it for about a day or two before I came and took it. Like dozens of New Orleanians, Stephen Clark lives beneath the Pontchartrain Expressway and his couch was among the items taken away by the city sanitation workers. The city's health department conducts routine cleaning of the homeless encampments in an effort to promote public health and removal of items that don't. So any item that actually poses a public health threat, um, this is a public health initiative. So we're not, we're not concerned so much with the, with the eyesore, it's not our job, our job is actually conducting pu uh, public health remediation. A big issue for us is rodents, couches, large furniture items, that actually does promote rat harborage and that's something that we really need to go after. As part of the city's outreach, signs are posted to alert folks living on the streets as to what's prohibited, but Clark says the city is taking away possessions he needs. Anything that makes you comfortable, sofa, mattress, they said it's a health, it's a health code violation. So just to make any sense, if that's the case, then every person that has a couch and a mattress at home it's got a health risk. Residents that live in communities where the number of people living on the streets has grown complain that the city cleaning the area, providing portalettes and allowing the homeless to stay is not helping their problem. But the health department denies this claim. Before those portalettes were out there, we saw a large amount of feces on the ground. Of course, you might still see it, but the, it's, it's reduced drastically since we've had portalettes and hand washing stations throughout the city. Homeless advocates say that more affordable housing is the answer to getting people off the streets. It's a tall order, but Clark says he's trying nonetheless. Uh, just going through the red tape, basically, of filling out paperwork and waiting to get approved. Uh, it's a long process. It takes a little while. So the health department is doing the cleanups weekly, or they were doing them weekly, but staffing issues at the NOPD have moved the cleanups to bi-weekly and sometimes monthly. NOPD is generally on hand for support for traffic and also mm -hmm. keep city workers safe, but it's a dilemma. We don't have enough housing and folks will be on the street. And it proves how homelessness isn't just one problem. That is yeah. correct. Right. It is layered. You're absolutely right. right. Mm -hmm.